I'm sorry, what'd you just say? I said, hey, welcome to a home vlog. I thought you said these buns are so sad. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Let me preface that with, um, these buns are really sad. That's my uh, emo band name, Sad Buns. Oh, sad Buns. So <laughs> tonight for dinner. These are the buns we're talking about? They're just, they got squished. I don't yeah. know what happened. I mean, I do know what happened. They got squished, look. They got mailed, oh my goodness. Like how sad are the buns? I love them, they're very happy. I'm so sad. I'm <laughs> so sad. <laughs> So tonight we are having Chicago Red Hots, but they are vegan. But I'm very excited. Hooray, hooray. Oliver's having some um, steamed carrots. I didn't think he would like them. I just like, I had carrots in the fridge and I'm like, let me steam these up and just see if, what he thinks. And he likes them. He loves so, them. I'm making some vegan hot dogs because you're leaving tomorrow for D23. Yes. And I just thought, why not some up dogs? Up dog two. Yeah. So it's a two pack. Uh, I'd like saying up dog two. Like, <laughs> you say, what's up dog two? <laughs> That's not what they say. Oh. But these are vegan, like red hot. So I guess they're spicy. I don't really know. Are red hot spicy? Yeah, they've got wheat in them. Oh, do they? That's interesting. So they're not gluten free? No. They did say don't take the casing off, which I feel like they look even grosser without the casing. Right. So I'm going to put, it wants me to grill these. But I, I don't think I'm- Fire up an entire grill to grill two vegan hot dogs for 30 seconds each. <laughs> I'm not <yet. laughs> So I'm gonna- Oliver is watching <laughs> Give Mouse a Cookie with Jackson. <laughs> Maybe he's singing Moana. No. He's like, oh way, oh way. He said no, he goes, no. Oh, are you singing Moana? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Maybe he is. So I think no, you should bake them. Yeah, broiling would be like just the top would be burnt. But there's an air fryer broil, so I think that broils from the. I don't know how the air fryer actually. Works. I, if you did that, you should drop the grill down to the bottom. I can't, I literally can't. I know. I'm just telling you, I would not <laughs> broil them. Okay, these are gonna bake for a little bit until they're warmed through. Basically, they wanted me to grill them. I'm not. I can't. I'm not gonna grill them. So I don't know how good these are gonna be, but they're gonna be delicious. They also did not come with a side. Which is some, one thing that I dislike about purple carrot is sometimes it doesn't come with a side or the side is like a handful of arugula. That's what? it. How many calories is this? How many, one hot dog each. 380. 380. Here's your whole dinner. 380 calories. That's not enough. A thousand milligrams of sodium. I need more calories. <laughs> so we're also going to have this salad that I bought from Publix. It's a blue cheese salad kit. Oh, I love that. With arugula. Oh, perfect. A handful <laughs> of arugula. But so the other thing I want to talk about tonight after dinner, and I'll show you dinner when I'm like putting it all together. No. Uh-oh. Hold on. <laughs> meatballs? This is what the uh-oh was all about. Uh-oh. Somebody threw their carrots on the ground. <laughs> Look at that, it also says that I can air fry these for four, four to five minutes, I'm ahead of the game. They're in the air fryer right now. Jackson did something really fun today. What did you do? Putt putt. You want to play putt putt? Was there something special about the putt putt? <laughs> it was the glow in the dark ball. The glow in the dark ball, okay. The glow in the dark shoes if they You had glow in the dark white. shoes? No, if they're white, they're Oh, white people wearing white shoes had glow in the dark shoes. So what that is, is he went to Deezerland to a place called the Putting Edge, which is, <laughs> Glow putt putt golf or mini golf. Yeah, it's indoors because it's very hot outside right now. I know. You want to play tea party? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. There it is. Beautiful watching a little old school uh, Real Housewives of New Jersey in the background. But there it is. I'm excited to try it. There it is. There's our uh, our Chicago style vegan hot dog. It's got tomatoes, sport peppers, onions, relish, yellow mustard, pickle spear, and a vegan red hot on a bun. Yeah. And then here's the blue cheese salad. Like yeah, a Chicago it, dog. That's what it is. It's a Chicago Red Hot. It's gonna be like Portillo's. You think? That's what it's supposed to be like. I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Give it a try. I wanna hear I wanna see the first bite reaction. Right now? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try my best to keep everything inside of the bun. Sorry, the kids are watching if you give a mouse a cookie. Here we go. Ooh. That was a good first bite. It had a nice snap. That might have been the pickle. Yeah. I mean, that's good. Yeah? Yeah. It's a sweet relish, so I didn't know if you'd like the relish. 
The hot dog doesn't taste like a hot dog though. What does it taste like? I don't know. Not a hot dog? Mmm. It's not bad. Does it taste like plants? I think that's it what it like is. Plants. <laughs> I think it's oh, made... it tastes like plants. <laughs> I think it's made of plants. Mmm. Close up. Close up bite. I'm excited to try mine. I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah? You'd have it again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Not spicy at all. I was gonna ask, okay, it's not spicy? No. All right, let me go, let me assemble mine. Sorry, I took a bite. It doesn't taste like a hot dog, you're right. That's what I said. It tastes like, you know how you said there was wheat in it? Yeah. Now all I can think about is it tasting like wheat. Okay. Oh yeah, you're just eating like flour. Oh, oh, getting messy. What do you think? You haven't gotten the pepper yet. You gotta get the pepper. No, no, I got a whole one. You just ate a whole one? In my first bite. Oh, okay. What do you think though? I think it would be really good with a regular hot dog. Okay. Like a little sweet, a little spicy, tangy from the mustard. The onions give it like a nice bite and crunch. The celery salt is nice. I don't know, I like the pickle. I think it would be really, I'm gonna try this with a regular hot dog one day. Yeah, we should uh, just get stuff together and make Chicago dogs. I think I wanna get one from Portillo's. Okay. All right, is that where you get them? All right, so it is after dinner, after the kids have gone to sleep, and now, it's time for me to finish packing. Like I have to, I have to leave tomorrow morning. I have to be at the airport. My flight leaves at 10. Uh, what do you guys do? Do you guys leave? Do you guys like give yourself two hours? I'm giving myself an hour and a half to get through security. I have TSA pre-check, so hopefully that won't be so bad. We'll see. I hope I don't miss my flight. But I wanted to add, like go over some of my predictions or like I guess hopes for D23. I'm really hoping for something big. Like I think that Disney needs an answer to Universal's Epic Universe. So I hope that if they don't announce that the they're in the planning stages of like figuring out where a fifth park is gonna go or adding a third park to Disneyland, then and I don't think that that would really answer to Epic Universe, but like there is space for a third park at Disneyland or they could maybe find space for a third park at Disneyland. I think that they should definitely give details as to what they're going to do behind Big Thunder. I think they should tell us what's going to happen where Reflections was going. Reflections, the Lakeside Lodge, which is over there by Fort Wilderness. They're definitely going to have to tell us what is happening in Dino Land in Animal Kingdom. I hope that they like announce, here's my big hopes and dreams. Like if I could wish for anything to be at D23, if they don't give us a, th a fifth park, then a new land at each of the three parks like a new expansion to each of the three parks hollywood studios being the hardest of those to do but like with the animation building where uh star wars launch bay is now they could get rid of that entire area i know that they said that they were bringing back little mermaid but like get rid of little mermaid get rid of star wars launch bay all of the animation buildings and Put something there, put something significant there. Add rides to Hollywood Studios. Animal Kingdom has space around it, but they are have already said that there are plans to do a Tropical Americas section where Dino Land is. Epcot, I don't know if there is any space for a new land, but there is, well there is, there's space for pavilions back behind things, like where the Africa out, African outpost is right now. I think there's land behind that. They're, they could add another pavilion or two to World Showcase. And then Magic Kingdom, they have said that they're thinking about putting something behind Big Thunder Mountain and they have pulled permits for that. And there are like trailers on site to start with that. I just want to know what it is, how big it is, what the theming is, like what's happening. So I hope that there's like, a, we need some significant announcements. And then, yeah, dates of things dates of opening of Tiana's Bayou Adventure at Disneyland. Uh, a lot of people, like Nick brought this to my attention, is that, that I guess people are saying that there's gonna be a new nighttime parade at Magic Kingdom. I hope that that happens, but I do also understand that there are a lot of people that go to Magic Kingdom. Like a nighttime parade at Disneyland makes sense because not a lot of people stick around at night. The fireworks don't always happen at Magic Kingdom. A lot, a lot of people stick around at night. So like on a summer night, it doesn't get dark until nine o'clock at night. And then you're gonna have a parade and then people are already waiting around for the fireworks. So you're gonna kind of like disrupt the people waiting for the fireworks with a parade. I don't know, the logistics of it just seem 
difficult. I know that they've done it before, but also Magic Kingdom is a different park than it used to be. Like there, there weren't as many people coming to Magic Kingdom. Now it's always packed, especially for the fireworks, especially for Happily Ever After. So I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. And then I feel like we do get some more hotel news. Like that seems like a no brainer that they will announce some form of hotel or something coming to Walt Disney World as well as Disneyland. And then maybe some new stores to Disney Springs. We'll see what we get for Cruise Line too because I'm interested to see if they announce anything because we kind of got a lot of information about the Destiny already. So maybe it's another ship after the Destiny. Who knows? Maybe they're gonna build a whole nother port somewhere. What if they did that? Is there another place that they could do that? Like in Florida? Or over in, I don't know, where would it be? Because they already sail out of Texas, New Orleans, California, two spots in Florida. But I know that the two spots in Florida are the most popular to sail from. Like the Caribbean and the Bohemian Cruises are the two biggest sailings. That's why the majority of the ships are always here. I don't know. I'm very interested to find out what is happening at all these different places. And then, of course, the international parks, like... I don't keep up as much with the news coming out of like Paris, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Tokyo, but I'm sure that there is going to be something from those parks. And then I'm also interested to see the studios panel, see what gets announced for Star Wars, what gets announced for Marvel, what gets announced for just like movies coming up soon. And then it's always fun to like be there when the, the actors come out and like sharing the excitement of like, here's what's gonna happen. And so Disneyland Forward is a thing that has been approved. So we do know that they are going to move forward with Disneyland Forward, which is kind of taking the place of some of the parking areas that are off to the west of DCA and Disneyland and kind of like surrounding the area around the Pixar Place Hotel, the Pixar Pier Hotel and the Disneyland Hotel. So there will be something announced as to like what's coming there. And then there's also another little bit of land sort of over to the east of DCA that they could take advantage of. And I think that's also part of Disneyland Forward. So I think we'll get a lot of information about that. And then I'm excited to see the cosplays, people walking around, what exhibits they have. There's like an entire exhibit about cars in the Disney bubble, like what, like Disney related cars. So I'm excited to see what those cars are and like what is there. And then, know just being there for the excitement i'm excited about that it's gonna be fun all right so first things that i'm bringing i'm getting them all charged up right now is i'm bringing the dji pocket 3 I'm bringing my a7s3 with a deity d2 duo microphone this is my water bottle it has like a little thing that it clips onto the side of my bag this is my peak design bag that i'm bringing this is a six liter everyday sling that is my like stuff that I'm carrying on to the plane. I am doing everything as a carry on. So I'm really carrying everything onto the plane, but these are the things like my personal items. And then here's my bag that I'm bringing. So I've got two packing cubes in here. These are both this size. One's just red and one's blue underneath there. Between the two of them, seven days worth of stuff. A little bit extra in there too. This is a jacket that I'm bringing just in case. Uh, these are some workout clothes. I do want to try to run while I'm out there. No guarantees though Somewhere in here underneath this stuff is also a like packable bag It's like a packable duffel bag right here So that if I need to like if I need an extra bag coming home Like if I buy extra clothes and then they decide not to fit in this bag I have an extra one to take with me then I can check this bag and then just have that with me as my carry-on uh, on the plane. And then I've got a fan, USB fan. These are my batteries for the A7S III. Uh, these are my noise-canceling headphones. They're not in there right now. They are charging. And then I've got my toiletries that I got to bring with me. And then all my cords are in here, which, you know, my organizational thing right here with all my cords inside of it. So this thing's been with me for a long time with all my USBs. And then I've got extra memory cards up here, microphones for the DJI. I've also got other microphones for the big camera. I've got more memory cards. I got earplugs just in case, cause I know that the legends panel is going to be kind of like a concert and I don't want to be too loud. Then I've got some AirPods too for when I work out. 
if I do work out. And that's it. That's everything that I'm bringing. I feel like I've got everything, but I also feel like I'm missing something. As always. Oh, I should mention my badges for D23 are in this. That was something that I, the very first thing that I packed, I said, I gotta put those in there so I know that I have them. All right. Ooh. Okay, it's Ooh. it's the morning time now. Morning time. Oh yeah, you're gonna bring the uh, the DJI? Bluey. Yeah. Are you seeing Bluey? The baby, the baby loves Bluey, so. Oh, what's happening? You're headed, where's your bag? All right, he's, he's bringing this one bag for his week long trip and I couldn't believe it because my bag for my weekend cruise was so much bigger. Yeah, you had like a gigantic bag for three days. I know, I don't know, I gotta, I gotta learn how you pack. Got all your stuff? I think so. I hope so. I think you do. Yeah. Okay, have fun. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. So, we're back home. It's just me and the boys right now. We're listening to Mr. Farts. If your kids like songs about farts, I recommend listening to Mr. Farts. It's got lots of songs about farts. Um, but we also have to go get the kids' passports today uh, for just upcoming trips and stuff, and it'll be good just to have rather than bringing their birth certificate every time we go somewhere. So, and then I have to renew mine as well, and that's something that we're gonna do today. We're gonna run over to Staples because I think they do it there. So, let's go. All right, so back from the passport debacle, I say debacle, it wasn't really that bad, but it was, I didn't realize some of the rules for passports. So um, Jackson's down at the community pool. We have like a pool in the neighborhood that's, I know we have a pool, people are probably like, you have a pool. That pool has like, it's like a splash pad pool. So he was going to, to do the splash pad. The baby's asleep. And I just had some Chipotle for lunch. And um, so we went to do the passport stuff. I thought you could do your whole passport thing at Staples. Staples is like a, home office store here but they they don't really specify like I guess they only do the photos they said it was your full service passport stop but it's not they just do the photos at least at the location by us so we got our passport photos which was actually really cute because the babies and Jackson Jackson was funny because it's hard when you have a kid and you're telling them in pictures like smile smile <laughs> like smile for the picture and then you do a passport photo and you're like don't smile <laughs> so he kept going like this because he didn't know what to do <laughs> so that was fun but we did get pictures that would work for the passport the baby did a great job and um then we went to the post office because you can do your passport at the post office but i didn't realize and it makes sense i just didn't realize it at the time if if both parents aren't there you can't get a passport for like a minor and that's purely i guess because you don't want somebody to take the kids out of the country like without the other adults permission so because tim is out of town and i'm like oh i'll just take care of this while you're gone i'll do it real quick but um because he's out of town we could not do it i have to wait until he's back so we'll do the kids passports when he gets back and then I also didn't realize I did the expedited passport for myself and I'm gonna have to do it for the kids. Um, it's almost, it's $200. <laughs> like, so that's $600 on passports that I'm gonna have to spend. So I just, I did not realize that. There's a lot of things I didn't realize about the passport. The good news is, is that we do have our photos. So we literally just have to go fill out the form and then just go to the post office and mail it off. So. I'm like 80% of the way done with the passport. I just have to wait for Tim to get back. And then I talked to Tim last night. He showed me his room. We like FaceTime for a little bit. He showed me his room. He got upgraded to like this really cool room, which is exciting. And then you should be seeing that tomorrow, I think, or the next day. But yeah, it was definitely tough not having him here. I, I It's not fun for sure. I miss him like, um, you know, a lot, but I was able to get some stuff done last night. I got the laundry done. I feel like because I'm like missing him, I'm more productive almost. I'm like trying to fill my time with things to do. So I did that last night. I cleaned up, did the laundry, did the dishes. So I today had a lot more free time to have my passport debacle. So it all worked out. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what happened today. And I think I'm probably gonna end it here 
because I don't have a whole lot going on for the rest of the day. I have to edit the Rivian video and I have to edit another, oh, the Monster Jam video. I have to edit that video. So I need to get that stuff taken care of because I have some fun Halloween stuff going on tomorrow night. I'll be at Mickey's Not So Scary. I'm very excited for that. And uh, I'm gonna go, I'm actually going with a friend of mine. So that should be really fun. It'll be like a little spooky girls night out. So yeah, I don't know. I hope you guys had fun. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us. And thank you for having some vegan Red Hots with us. I can't wait to go to Portillo's and try a real one because it really was good. And then I hope that some of Tim's predictions come true, but I'm also excited to see like what is actually gonna happen at D23, like what news is gonna come out of it. And yeah, so thank you guys for, for hanging out at home with us today. All in all, it was a great day. I hope that you had fun. So with that being said, I'm off. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.